good. Look, I know you've probably got some questions, like uh, who's that girl and why did she come out of a shed and bang on her chest? Um, well, I'm uh, I'm not too sure why she did that actually, but I'll I'll let her introduce herself. I'm Gemily and um, I'm 22 years old and a tattoo in Glasgow and also just like. <laughs> Um, I think one of the things my style is like, I don't know. I'm not trying to like, please anyone or anything like that. I just kind of draw the shit that I think looks cool and that I like would kind of want to have on myself. So if other people like, like that stuff, that's fucking like sick, you know what I mean? If they don't, that's chill. But the fact that people like, come to me and get my artwork on them and, and it's like my actual like redesigns I've just been drawing for fucking years, do you know what I mean? It's like, it's so fucking cool. I really want my own kind of like private space because all my clients are private. Um, so I'm like renting this little space right now down in London Road. Um, you helped me paint it the other yeah. night, which is very <laughs> fucking cool. Thank you for doing that because I've never painted a wall before. That was fun. Um, that was wild. <laughs> It wasn't wild, it was just painting the wall, but like, I thought it was mental. wild. Yeah, I thought it was fucking mental. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, so hopefully if I just get this wee place going, man. Aye, so we went and got it going. Uh, I had a slight breakdown. Oh, my hair. And decided I hate green. And now we're painting it this nice, um, it's called clay. What's this temple? Boobs and questions. Boobs and questions. Biggle boobs and questions. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. We just want to plan a fucking like capitalist hell. Now we're here. We were just in a place and like for that it was like 70 quid and it was so shit. How much is that? That's 34. Hi, right, so after getting those sweet deals, we uh, bought some of the plants and then we took the plants along with some other things that Gemma had bought and uh, decorated up the studio, which was pretty great. Uh, it looks a lot nicer than the last time you saw it because uh, Jed, that's in there. Along with Gemma's dad, put in a floor and some walls. So uh, yeah, that's the tattoo studio pretty much complete. All that's left to do now is get some tattoos. It's gonna be fucking cool. 
I'm just so fucking excited to tattoo. It's gonna be the first one in here. I have no idea what this is gonna feel like. I'm thinking about it too much now. See, my dad, yeah. he's like a very muscly dude, right? And when he first started tattooing, um, when I first started getting tattoos, he was like, oh, it feels like a rusty razor blade getting like chapped into your oh, skin. That's what I to well, no, that, no, no, okay, that's what I got told, right? Yeah. And he's like a fair big bitch guy, so I was like, obviously, this is true. And I got my first tattoo, and I was like, you fucking liar, <laughs> dude. It does not, never that sore. But keep that in mind, like rusty razor blades. Tattoo shops are intimidating, especially if you've not been in one before. Like, I know that myself, like going into shops and there's just all these fucking people that are tattooed up to fuck and like, sometimes it's like chill and stuff, but sometimes like it kind of gets a bit overwhelming. And I want the space that I have to be like, really free and like artsy and just for everyone to feel really fucking welcomed and like I don't know don't for there to be any of these fucking like hardcore fucking tattoo rules where it's like oh you're a pussy if you fucking like bail out and stuff like no you can like take as long as you want to get tattooed and it can be like relaxing and we'll play like some chill fucking Aussie punk music it'll be good <laughs> sweet Wow. Yes, okay. Oh, yeah. That was fucking awesome. Um, so okay, like so. Gemma was one of the first people I sort of met when I moved over to Glasgow, and I'm really glad that we stayed in touch because she's a fucking great artist and an amazing friend. And now I have a part of that on me forever.